Hi, my name is Guy. I live in Scotland and I like to cut and fold paper. I started doing this several years ago, just beginning with very basic ideas. And since then I've expanded and expanded and expanded what I've been able to figure out how to do. All my models use one sheet of paper and they all fold flat when they're finished, like this. This is a relatively simple one. It's called three by three building blocks. And this is what I'm gonna show you how to fold today. It's a good one to start with because it has nice big folds. And even though it's basic, it contains all the fundamental ideas of all the other models, no matter how complex they get. So we're gonna start with a piece of paper card. It's already been scored and cut. So you can see there are cut lines and uh, there are fine score lines here so that I know where to fold the paper. And the only other thing we need for this is a copy of the template. This is the blueprint from which this was made. And there are different types of lines, mountain lines and valley lines uh, that are dot dashed and dotted that show you the different types of folds you'll need to make. So we can use this to refer to while we're folding this. Looking at the template, you can see that there are two kinds of folds here, mountains and valleys. The mountain folds on the template are indicated by dashed lines and the valley folds by dotted lines. Mountain folds will pop out toward you in the finished model and the valley folds fold away from you. There are also spine folds, which are really just valley folds but they're a special valley fold since they show you where the whole paper around the model is going to fold. Let's start by pinching the spine folds so that we know where the page is. These are valley folds. So when we pinch a crease, put your finger on one side and pinch from the other side. The paper already has a crease mark on it. So it should also suggest where it wants to be folded along that line. And you can already see that the background paper is uh, starting to separate from the model. Next, if you notice on the template, all the boundary folds around the outside are valleys because we want our model to pop up and not pop down. So we can turn the model over and from the back, go over all those boundary folds one at a time. Valley, 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 all the way around. We don't have to make these folds super sharp or creased yet. They don't have to be 90 degrees. At this point, we're just showing the paper where we want it to go and what direction we want it to fold in the future. And now you can see that the general shape of the model is already starting to pop out of the page. So the next step is to go through all the mountain folds. These are the big ones with the dash lines. It's the same thing as the valley folds, but these are gonna pop the other direction. So you put your finger on the back and pinch from the front. There's a mountain fold. There's a mountain fold. Again, not super sharp creases, just giving the paper a general idea for the future, what we're gonna want it to do. And I'm just pushing from the back with my fingertip and pinching from the front. Okay, again, we're getting closer. The next step is to turn it over and try to reinforce all the little valley folds in between those mountain folds. You can see on the template, you can consult whenever you need to see which are the valleys and which are the mountains. But after you've done it a few times, I think you'll learn to see which is which pretty clearly. Okay. So we can really see the texture of the model starting to emerge now. So then place the paper flat on your table and hold it down and gently push from the back. And you can see the model starting to pop its way out of the page. You can turn it over and do the same thing again. We're just increasing all the angles very slightly and it's really starting to come together. And then starting with the bottom block, 
You can fold it flat on its face, and this time you can really crease it down. And then the next row of blocks, you can fold them flat on their face and really pinch them down. And then turn it over and do the same thing from the other side. If any of the valleys in between start to pop the wrong direction, you can just poke them through with your finger. And now we've just got the last row, so we can sort of make sure that they're going to go the right way. And then you can take the whole thing and almost close it shut like a sandwich. And then put it flat on the table and make sure it all folds flat, nice and neat. Now you can really push down and make these creases as sharp as you want them. And when you open it, you have your model.